everyone, it's Melky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing something that I haven't done in a while, and that is a makeup tutorial. In the last about half year or so, I sort of changed my makeup style and I've been pretty consistently doing it and I'm really happy with it, so I thought I would make a kind of tutorial rough guide on how I do it in case any of you are curious to try it yourself. Um, I think this sort of look is great with J fashion, like Lolita fashion, cosplay even. I basically do the same makeup all the time, only just changing out the colors. Right now I have it a kind of pink color scheme, but you can really do it any color that you want. Um, this is just sort of a rough guide of how I do it, and you can switch it up and change it up however you see fit. Um, I'm by no means a makeup expert, so don't be too harsh if there's something that you don't like how I'm doing. This is just what works for me, and with that, let's get started. Potato milky in three, two, one. So right now I have my bare face with just some moisturizer and my circle lenses in. These are from the site TTDI. Um, they sent them to me. I forgot the design name, but I'll be sure to link them down below. I generally like lenses that have a sort of simple design like this one where you'll probably see it in close-ups, but it's just like a ring and then like a black line on the outside. Um, I think it looks nice and enlarging, but you can use any circle lenses you want or not use circle lenses if you prefer not to. I just think it helps to enhance the look. So I'll first start with an illuminating base. This is the Peach C one from... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. Oh, I think the brand is Peach C. It's the Peach C Peach Glow Makeup Base. I actually don't really like this one. I prefer um, bases which are kind of more just pink toned and illuminating. This just kind of has a shimmery, glowy finish, which is nice if that's what you want, but um, I like using bases that kind of help to tone my skin as well so that I then don't have to use foundation or too much concealer. And this just acts like a base. So um, I'm just rubbing this in very inelegantly. Um, so you can see my skin is a lot more glowy, which I don't really like, so I'm definitely not going to be repurchasing that. And then after that, I will use a bit of concealer under my eyes. This is the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer from the brand The Same. I got this one Yes Style, and I don't really like this one either. It kind of um, blends a bit too patchy for me, which I don't really like. I feel like it's kind of chalky and dry. Um, but I'm just putting that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin, since those are the areas where I get red most of the time. And then I just pat that up with my finger, or with something like a um, compact sponge, like the things that are used for cushion compacts. Put a little bit too much of this on, but that's okay, we can just spread it out. I don't really use foundation, either when I'm taking photos or in real life. Um, I'm kind of okay with texture and pattern on my skin as it is, but you can totally use more foundation or BB cream or whatever you like. This color is probably a bit too light for me, um, but it also does the job of illuminating my face. Yeah, I'm by no means a makeup expert, I just do what works for me, so don't yell at me by my <laughs> bad techniques and lack of brush and stuff like that. And that's good enough. Yeah, the camera and the lighting really blurs out a lot of the imperfections of my skin, so don't assume that I have like perfectly smooth skin, but this is just good enough for me. And that concealer did add a lot of nice illumination to my face. Um, I'm then gonna go in with some powder. This is the Peach Perfect powder from Too Faced. It's quite nice. I usually kind of prefer um, compact powders. This is a loose powder, but I thought I'd try this for once. I think I'll stick to compact powders. They're just a bit easier for me to use. But just going in so that my face isn't sticky, because that base can leave my face a little bit sticky. Being sure to get under the eyes, because that's where my concealer is, and I don't want it smudging. Is good. For blush, I'm gonna use two different ones. Um, first, this Sleep Powder Blush by Rom and and Neon Moon. I got this at some point in a box from yesterday. Um, this is just a really simple pink color, and I'm gonna go under my 
applies. I like um, putting on the blush a bit higher up and kind of just diffusing it a bit. This doesn't really show up very much in photos or in video, so for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go in with this small Too Faced sample <laughs> blush. Um, this is a lot more of a vivid pink color, and hopefully this will show up decently in video. In person, it's pretty bright. Yeah, I, I go by the mantra that you really can't have too much blush, so I just kind of pack it on there, and it looks really cute. If you want to be super cute, you can put blush on your nose, but I don't really like how blush on my nose looks on me, um, so yeah, but just a tip if you want some extra cuteness. And I'll put a little bit on my chin and on my nose, because why not? Um, and then last, before I move on to actually, actually, wait, no, two more things. Um, first I have some highlighter. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Um, it has like a champagne side and a peachy side. I'm gonna use the pink and just kind of... I really should have taken my highlighter brush for this, but I'm too lazy to go and get it back, so I'm just gonna use my finger, just going underneath my eyes, where I would have cheekbones if I had any. And then on my nose. Um, and now before I do my eyes, I'll do my eyebrows. Um, I'm wearing a blonde wig today, so I'm just going to use this light brown mascara, eyebrow mascara from, um, this is called Kill Brow. It's from the brand Clio. Um, and I, depending on the color that I make my brows, I sometimes just go over them with like a white eyeliner or like some concealer, and then I go over it with eyeshadow in the color of the wig that I'm wearing. But since I'm just wearing a blonde wig, I can get away with this. It's darker than the wig, but that's fine. And yeah, that... I honestly can't even tell that much on video, but it does kind of make my brows look a little bit lighter. And more uniform. If I could get a white brow mascara, I totally would. But I haven't seen one like that, so if you happen to know of anything, do let me know. And then because I really like the look of sort of straight brows, I'm going in with... What color should I use? Um, I'll use this... This color from my chocolate bar palette to just kind of um, raise up the top part of the brow. I think it gives a really cute look. And then I'm gonna go over this with just the white chocolate to lighten them up a bit because they're a bit too dark for my liking right now. Good enough. Let's move on to the eyes. I'll zoom you in for that. So I mentioned it earlier, but you can sort of see the design of the lens a little bit better now, what I was referring to. Um, I really like this design. So starting off, I'm going in with this jelly eye color from Jill Stewart. This is a really nice sort of jelly textured primer base. It's glittery. It's very, very light pink, but you can't really tell when one applies it. However, um, this makes my eyeshadows stay on really nicely, and so I like using it. And it's a very nice, fine glitter. So I like that a lot. For the majority of the eyeshadows, I'll be trying out this Color Spun eyeshadow palette that was sent to me by Colourpop. Um, the colors in this are all really cute, very pink, so it's perfect for the sort of looks that I usually do, and I'm excited to try it. Mm, I'll first start with this color called Cotton Cloud. It's just a very cute pink shimmery shade. Let me get the plastic off of the mirror on this. So taking my brush, going in with that as just a sort of nice all over color to sort of help set the foundation for these eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna go in with this really bright pink called Bon Bon and I'm gonna take that underneath my eye. I really like using um, bright reds and pinks under my eye. I think it looks really cute. It's a bit unconventional, but I think it's pretty. 
Um, and then I'm going to bring the eyeshadow into the center of my eye, not spreading it out quite as far as I used the other pink, but still making sure that that color is really visible. Oh gosh, this looks messy. That's fine. Just kind of spreading it out until it looks acceptable. <laughs> and then I'll probably add a little bit of pink later on. I love sparkly things and this color is calling to me, so I'm going to use this shade in the middle here, middle here called Flossy. Um, the glittery shades in ColourPop can be a bit hard to use with a brush, so I'm just using my finger to get in there and then pat it onto the top of my eyelid. And that's really pretty and sparkly. I love some good sparkle. I'll use any excess on my cheeks. And then I really like doing a gyosal, which is a Korean trend to kind of make the tear bags of your eyes stand out a bit more. If you smile and push at it, you can kind of see where the like eye naturally scrunches up. So I'm gonna first use a, a more taupey color to go in there. Squinting, oops, squinting helps to sort of define where that tear bag goes. So that can help create the shadow. And then going in with a light color. Um, I'm using this champagne truffle color from my chocolate bar palette going under the eye and sort of the inner kind of corners. Well, this isn't probably the best brush to do this, but it's working for now. <laughs> there we go. Um, but I want to emphasize that a little bit more. So I'm gonna use this light pink shimmery color called Chicle from the Cloud Spun Palette. And I'm gonna use just my pinky finger to go in there. This is just sort of a nice iridescent pink color, so it looks really pretty. Alright, so there's the eyeshadow. It could be neater, but that's fine. This works for me. <laughs> Time for the actual eyeliner. My eyeliner is kind of dying, so hopefully this will work, but I'm using the Heroin Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner eyeliner. It's okay. It's cheaper than things at Sephora, so this is fine. Um, starting at my inner corner of my eye. I found with eyeliner that it helps to just do like short strokes. <laughs> kind of makes it easier to handle. Um, when I get to the end of my eye, I'm just going to kind of going to trail it out in the same direction that it's going, not really flicking it up or down. And there's the base makeup. Um, I usually just do my eyeliner like this if I'm not going out anywhere particularly special or doing anything extravagant with my makeup, but if I'm trying to go for a more dolly anime eye look, I'll then do the lower eye liner as well. So starting like a, I don't know, a couple of millimeters underneath my lower eyelid. I mean, it's maybe like the length of my, um, iris a little bit smaller, and then I take a break, and then we start that up again, and we connect with the top part of my eyeliner. There's the basic shape, and then kind of fill in some gaps here to make it look a little bit smoother. There we go. And then I usually draw on a couple of, couple of eyelashes as well. There we go. Um, and that's just basic eyeliner shape. Sometimes I like thicken the inner corner a bit more to cover up my false eyelashes since that's a bit difficult to cover up. But now I just have some mascara and then it's eyelash application time. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It is quite good. Mostly I focus on the top lashes and then the lower lashes just kind of doing the middle and a little bit of the outside. Ooh, and I forgot one more thing. Sparkles! This is the Too Faced Tear Eyeliner. I really need to get a new one because this one is really old. But I'm just kind of going into that inner corner of my eye again to give some more sparkle. 
I'm gonna apply my eyelashes out of frame because I'm really bad at doing that on frame and I don't want to make it any harder for myself. But I'm using these really cheap eyelashes that I got off of eBay. Um, they just kind of have a alternating spike design which I think looks really nice with this type of makeup. Wow, the color on this now looks really weird. But you can finally see how pink my blush is, so yay. Um, I'm just gonna apply these and then do my other eye because this looks really weird. And I'll be back. So I put on my um, false eyelashes, which of course you don't need, but I do think that they help to enhance the look a lot. And I also put on a wig and a accessory so that I feel less like a potato. And now all that is missing is some lip color. I just like using lip tints. This one is too old, but we're not going to think about that. Um, I just sort of put some in the center, on the top, and then spread up with my finger. And that's basically it. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time, but this is just what works for me. I hope it will maybe help some of you, or maybe give you a few tips if you want to do this kind of makeup for yourself and you're not really sure where to go. So um, let me know if you want to see more tutorials. I mean, I guess I really sort of do the same sort of makeup all the time, but if there's anything that you're wondering about, I'd be happy to maybe make another video or so. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!